friends welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Mika thank you so much for stopping in uh, today's video was originally supposed to be about hair um, just giving some information about what I use in my hair my daily routines things like that um, but I'm changing it so um, just want to let you all know if you're interested in that it will be out this week I'll make sure that I do that video but something happened to me last week and then something happened for me Sunday. So um, my channel again is not religious based and it's not to persuade you or push you into Christianity. But I'm just going to tell my story about what happened. So last week um, I was having a lot of feedback about my videos um, and I appreciate everybody who did take the time to give me information and just let me know what they thought about my content and um, just give me some ideas because this is my first time ever doing anything on social media and in this way and um, people's feedback kind of helps me understand what people want to hear and just kind of build towards my uh, my followers so that they will get what they need when they come to my channel but um you know some of, a lot of the information is really good and i appreciate it again for everybody who did comment or share share things with me you know in person about different things about my content and my videos thank you so much like i really did take in everything uh, people said into consideration um, but I had some controversy and so I want to apologize because what I'm going to say totally contradicts what I have been preaching so um, after I got the feedback last week um, some people were saying things like um, like maybe your videos need to be um, more comical do like some DIYs or uh, do some prank videos, some vlogs, or not be so serious, um, not be so personal, not talk about topics that are too deep and things like that. And um, honestly, I'm going to say that that those were great ideas, but that's not what I feel led to do. And during that time, um, I was just kind of wrestling with God because it was like, you know, you you told me to do this and you told me to speak up and you told me to you know use my testimonies to help other people and, and encourage people who do want to believe in God and Jesus to 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 start to learn and, and get an idea of who they are on their own um, based off of me telling my testimonies um, and even if people don't didn't want to believe my testimony still can help somebody else to get through situations that they may be going through in life. And so I didn't understand, like, if I'm doing what I felt led to do, why was I getting so much pushback? Why, you know, people wanted me to make so many changes to my channel and to be unauthentic. When, um, when I prayed about it before, way before I joined YouTube, God told me to be authentic and honest and real. Um, but at the same time, you know, I was to protect myself by not sharing too much information, but just giving an idea or just talk, talking about the the surface of different things that I have experienced. Um, you know, that's, which is why I don't say people's names. I don't um, I don't really go into detail about past relationships I've been in nothing like that but i'll tell you like if, I, if i've been through something i'll give you you know just that basic like I, yes i've been through you know maybe arguing in a relationship i never tell you the person and i never go into detail about what we're arguing about or anything like that because it's personal but it's out there enough where people can know like okay she has done this and and this is why she's saying that you know maybe going to counseling is so important or going to couples counseling and things like that is important. That's where that comes from. And, and so it, it opens up that gate for people to understand and to trust me and to believe me and to try to make those changes to their own lives based off of what I've gone through. So back to what I was saying, I had um, went through, you know, being told to 
do my YouTube videos certain types of way and to make changes. And so I started to just feel like I just wanted to give up. I was like, well, um, I honestly just don't know what to do anymore. I wanted to just give up. And I know like that's one of the things I have preached to you all. Um, I said to never give up for anybody. Do what you feel led to do. Share your gifts. Do everything that is put on your heart to do. And I wasn't practicing what I preached. I almost gave up. But I went to church on Sunday. Um, I had Zoom service. And um, my aunt and my uncle were preaching. And normally we talk about the Bible and they, they'll pull scriptures from the Bible and we'll talk about it or they'll talk about it. It's church, basically. So you just listen and they preach through it. But um, not yesterday. Yesterday, something strange, very strange happened. I had not talked to my uncle or my aunt about anything personal. They we don't even talk like I know that sounds bad, but we don't talk like that. So they don't know that, you know, I was having the controversies going on about my YouTube my youtube channel and i was kind of getting conflicted on what i should do about my youtube channel um they i haven't reached out to them um they don't live in the same state as me they had no idea i'm telling you like for me it's my belief so here i am going to talk about my belief again for me it was god speaking to me because immediately once the service started my aunt started talking about how important it is not to shut up not to be afraid to talk about the things that you have gone through because what you've gone through is it's god's way of using you as a vessel to help somebody else now again that's my belief you know you don't have to believe the same thing and i'm not saying that people go through bad stuff just just because, you know, like, oh, get over it. You, you, you needed to do that to, to help somebody else. No, I'm not saying it in that light. I'm just saying that whatever you've gone through, whatever you've gone through, you can use your story to help somebody else. And as I listened to that, to that sermon, as I listened to my auntie talk about why it was so important that we as people, as humans, keep our mouths open open you know with with limitations of course you don't sit here and tell every like just vomit word vomit all your personal business but speaking to people with limitations but still getting that message out there to people you don't even you never know who's watching you you never know i had children who told me that they watched my videos i had no idea that kids are watching my videos and they tell me like i you know like they they like it they like what they hear and, and they're grateful for what I say. And I'm just thinking like my videos, I always say not for kids, but there's kids, there's teenagers being encouraged by the words that I'm saying. And so what I've learned in, in, in that moment, what I was taught is I'm not going to shut up. I'm not. And I know that so many people want me to be ashamed. They want me to be ashamed and to block out certain areas of my life that that I had gone through, whether it was based on my sexuality or based on um, having children or having my child, I only have one, but having my child um, without being married, um, not doing well in school at one point or whatever it is, they want me to be so ashamed of that. They want me to hide that and talk about just the good, just talk about where I am right now. But I, I'm not, let me calm down. I got to where I am right now because of everything that I went through in my past. Everything, everything that I've encountered and I've experienced has led me to where I am now because there were so many things that I went through, even really hard things that helped to build my relationship with, with Jesus and God. And on top of me building it also taught me lessons along the way. And so now here I am, this, this woman that you see now, strong in, in my, and standing in grace. The grace of God has been on my life. And I feel like I'll be super selfish to sit back and just tell you all the good. Oh, I, I got degrees. Let me tell you, I went to school, I got degrees. Oh, I have, I'm, I'm a mom, my daughter's healthy. 
me and my daughter, we get along great. We're best friends. Oh, uh, I have an, I have my own apartment because I got a job. You see what I'm saying? Like, no, that I went through some stumbling blocks to get all those blessings. And even, even if it wasn't a blessing, there was a hidden blessing behind it. So I, I just like, it's like Jesus literally, I, I promise it was like Jesus just whispered in my ear. That's you. When I heard that message in, in church yesterday, I just heard him say, that's you. That message was for you because I was, I was really going to give up. I, I was like, well, maybe this is just not what I'm cut out to do. This is not what people want to hear. But yeah, of course, the enemy is always going to make you believe that what you're doing is wrong when you're trying to be on the right path. When you're doing something that, again, for my belief, not saying that you have to believe the same thing, but when you're doing something for Jesus and you're doing something for God and, and you're allowing them to, to feed your spirit and to live through you and to use your, you as a vessel to bless somebody else, that's when the enemy is going to come in and say, you're doing too much, you're saying too much, you're Nobody likes what you're talking about. You're boring. You're, you're um, offensive. It's crazy. So, you know, after I just felt so amazed after that service because I was like, what just happened? Like, I didn't even pray about it. I was just really just going to give up because I had so many people in my ear saying things opposite of what I believed and what I felt led to do. But I just wanted to please. I wanted to people please. I wanted to make everybody proud of me, but I can't. That's not that's not what my calling is. And I'd much rather just make people upset by telling my story. I don't know how it's gonna make you upset, but if it is making you upset, you know, it is what it is, but that's not that's not my business. My business is to do what God, what I feel Jesus has called me to do. And I don't care how uncomfortable that makes other people because Jesus always makes me comfortable. Before I do these videos, I talk with Jesus before I, do, I post my videos. And I always feel comfortable when I talk about things. And if I don't, I re-record. And I, I make sure that I'm, I'm comfortable with the information I'm putting out and that I'm honest, as honest as I can be without oversharing. And so if Jesus is telling me that I'm okay and he's giving me peace, about what I'm talking about, then that's all that matters. It doesn't matter how anybody else feels because you can choose to listen to me or not. You can choose to be to be a follower of mine or not. And I just, you know, that message just helped me to, to realize that I am supposed to be the voice. That's, that's what my desire is. That's what my calling is. I am to be the voice for the voiceless. I am to be the voice for those who who, who needs answers, but they don't have examples in their lives to, to know where to go. People who feel stuck. I'm here to tell you that you can get through it. You will get through it. Whether you believe or not, there is a way. And, you know, I'm here to help people from taking their own lives or just giving up on life, you know, just allowing itself to fall into depression. Like, no, I, I am living proof that God, if you believe that or your higher power can come into your life and change your life, I promise you, I promise you. It takes work. It takes pain. It, you're going to go through some hard days. You're going to lose a lot of friends, but you're going to get through it. But don't ever stop telling your testimonies. Don't ever stop sharing once you get through something share it you don't have to share it on a live po podcast like i am or on, on a youtube video or whatever you don't have to do that but but we, if you if you have friends tell your friends if you have children tell your children share your testimonies again within limitations what's appropriate and what's comfortable for you to share share that because you don't never you never know who's listening who's going to take your advice who needs to hear your advice, who needs to hear your story because maybe they they went through the, the same thing or they're going through the same thing and they need help getting to the next point in their life where they can have peace. You never know. So don't be afraid to share because your story can save somebody. Somebody right now could be thinking about ending their lives or just 
feeling like they're an outcast or the black sheep of the family because they tell it like it is or they're not afraid to keep to, to talk about things that's happened to them and people probably make them feel bad about about their lifestyle or the decisions that they made but then they hear this video and they have a second chance they have strength they get carried and you know they get encouraged to to pick up their lives and and to keep pushing and if they choose to believe great if they if they choose to believe in a different strength and a different power that's great too as long as they keep pushing as long as they keep trying and, it, and as long as my voice has helped somebody else, has encouraged somebody else to not give up on their lives and to to share whatever they've gone through, their testimonies with somebody else. So that message really sunk into my soul. I felt like I needed to share it because somebody else needs to hear the same thing. When I heard that message, it was like fire in my in my my blood. I promise. It was like that's what I needed to hear. And so if somebody else is going through the same thing where they feel like they don't really know what what to do with their lives or if they feel led to do something and but people are trying to encourage them to do something else. Don't shut down. Don't give up. Don't don't throw in a towel because not everybody's going to like you. Not everybody's going to like what you talk about. Not everybody's going to agree with you. But if you know that you're doing something or you feel that you're doing something that you're meant to do and that you're supposed to do, keep doing it. I promise in the end it'll pay off. And I promise you there's going to be somebody whose life you touch just from being who you were called to be and, and sharing your, your testimonies. It may sound, may sound silly to you. It may make other people mad. But you share your testimonies because somebody out there needs to hear it. I hope this helped. And I hope that it resonated with somebody. And um, I hope that you all understand what I'm trying to say. Again, my channel is not to encourage you to become a Christian. Um, and I'm not trying to use this video to talk about you walk the same path I'm walking it's just to encourage you to just stop don't shut up don't speak what you want you know if you want to share your testimonies do it until next time bye